Hi, my name is Robert. Please read the comments in the About section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please, like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. I wanted to make a video explaining to you what it takes for me to get you a used part if you request one. I don't normally have a bunch of used parts laying around, so I have to actually go to the local salvage yard and get those. Sometimes when I tell people the cost to get it to them, they actually strain. And that cost that I give them includes nothing for my time and effort. It's simply what it costs to drive to the junkyard, pay to get in, pull apart, pay for the part, taxes, junkyard fees, stuff like that, pack it up, and then pay to ship it. There's expense in that. So this is how this process goes. So I'll put on my junkyard clothes so I can go down to the junkyard. Then I have to get in my car and drive over to the junkyard. Next, I have to drive several miles to get to the junkyard. Arrive at the junkyard, Find a parking spot and go in. Stand in line and pay my entry fee. Then I walk through the junkyard looking for the vehicle that you need parts off of. Searching through the few vehicles that may match and look for the best part for your use. The website for my local junkyard that I normally go to proclaims that they have in excess of 3,000 vehicles. After I find the vehicle, I gotta make sure it has the part, the part's good. Go ahead and pull the part. Once I get the part pulled, I gotta double check it, make sure it's good for your use. After I have all the parts I need, I gotta walk out of the salvage yard. Next, I gotta go in there, wait in line, pay for my parts. When you look at the salvage yard receipt, it has the price of the drive shaft assembly. It has a core fee there. It has a 6.25% sales tax. It has about a 10% environmental fee. And then I have my total. So, all because you see it on their website for $56, don't mean it's gonna end up being $56. I actually got a $5.60 credit on this. So this $55, dollar and 99 cent item would actually end up costing 67 dollars 12 dollars above the 55.99 next i load everything up in my car drive it to wherever i'm going to pack it up and prepare it for shipping then i have to package your parts up go down to the post office wait in line and ship them out After all said and done, drive back home and get back into my comfortable daily gear. So all in all, that's about a two or three hour process. When I let you know the hard cost of getting a part to you, that does not include any funds for me. So, you know, I, I'm not trying to complain about it. I'm just trying to let you know. So whatever you offer to pay me above the hard cost is... I guess my profit. Nonetheless, if I was charging $50 an hour to go do this stuff, you would just simply add about $150 to whatever parts you get. I don't have a pool of parts laying around somewhere, uh, you know, so normally I do have to go to the salvage yard to get it. I don't mind doing it. I go down there often, but, you know, do keep in mind, this does take time and effort on my part. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.